Hello everybody, this is Somnia Stellarum, back for another episode of Stellarum FTB. So this episode, there's a few things I'm planning on working on. So let's take a quick look in our in NEI over here. Um, probably the first thing I'm going to want to do is, uh, well one of the things that I want to do is I want to be able to start a query. Uh, I want to start getting some uh, some of my resources in an automated fashion so I'd like to start there is this BC builders query um, but I think I might go with the ender query just because it's a little bit more advanced it will chunk load automatically and there's no real theoretical limit to how big you can go so you can just make this as big as you want uh, and then there's also some upgrades that you can add so that'll let it go a lot faster you can add in the speed upgrades um, and different stuff like that. Now, to do some of this stuff, we're, we're one, we're going to need a little bit of quartz. So we're going to have to go to the nether. Uh, so there's either the nether, pure quartz or, or just the regular old nether quartz is what we're going to need for that. Uh, so that's what we're going to have to do. Um, and in order to do that, uh, we're gonna have to build the portal to the nether and go and do that. The rest of this isn't going to be too bad. We just need um, we just need an enchanted book in order to be able to uh, or enchants in order to make some of these things. Uh, so if we look uh, the silk touch, I don't think we're gonna want fortune. We're probably gonna want at some point. In which case, we're gonna need some diamond picks with fortune one. Uh, an iron pick with fortune one um, and is that, is that all? Iron pick with fortune one, gold pick with fortune one and then two diamond picks with fortune one. Um, so that's kind of uh, gonna use a little bit and then same thing for uh, these uh, queer queries we're going to need the uh, diamond picks as well um, with certain enchants as well. Um, so there's definitely some things. I don't think we're going to get up to the speed 3 right away. We'll probably start with the speed 1 and then we'll slowly upgrade it. Um, but we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, what we're going to need to do is uh, we're going to go to the, uh, go to the nether and uh, we're going to look for quartz and then we're also going to look for soul sand. Uh, and the reason why is for our sorting system. So we're going to want some advanced item filters. Uh, and in order to get this, we're going to need a Z-Logic controller. You get this from a slice, a slice and spice, slice and splice machine. It's a bit of a tongue twister. So you need some solarium. And the way you get that is uh, smelting uh, some soul sand and some gold ingots. Uh, and then the slice and splice machine. Uh, I think if you look splice, you can see it, you're going to need some of that soul sand as well, along with the head and uh, the machine chassis is just a bunch of iron and uh, one of these basic capacitors. So we're going to need some soul sand. Uh, we do have some uh, heads, like we have some creeper heads and some different things like that, uh, but we do need the soul sand uh, and then we're also going to uh, need uh, some stuff for the advanced item filters. So uh, let's get to that. Uh, and then at the end of the episode, we might look at an auto enchanter. Uh, so let's just take a quick look here. Of course, there's the vanilla Minecraft enchant table. Um, but we might want to go towards something like this. Uh, and we might also want a way to store our XP. Um, so I think the, what is it called? I think it's a drain. Um, yeah, this drain here, XP drain, just a bunch of iron, uh, will actually drain, uh, all of your XP into a tank. And, uh, let's see if we, is it a tank? Yeah. Uh, probably not one of these. Yeah, I think one of these open block tanks. So we're going to need a bit of obsidian and some glass plane. Um, you know what, we might want to do this before we go to the nether. 
So let's just see if I have some glass somewhere in here. This inventory is not set up at all. Um, so we're going to need to complete this project. It's not sorting uh, in the proper spots at all, but uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, you know what? Let me just grab some... Uh, I got my, uh, my excavator here. Um, so I'll be able to grab a whole bunch of sand really quickly. So let's just head over here. Uh, let's grab a bunch of this sand. We'll smelt it up really quickly. Uh, just like... Just like that. Yeah, a little bit more. Can't hurt. There we go. So we'll smelt that up. And then we'll head over to the nether. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's head downstairs to where all of our equipment is. Uh, and we'll be able to smelt this up probably in here. Uh, let's put some of that in there. Um, I'm going to take you and I'm going to replace you with that. Just throw the rest of this in here for now. Did I have any glass in there? No, I didn't. Okay, so I didn't waste my time with that. Uh, in the meantime, what am I what am I gonna need? I am gonna need some iron. So let's grab a bunch of this. A stack of that should do. I do have a quite a few ores for now, so that's not so bad. Um, okay, we're gonna need. Just one more piece of this, I believe. Uh, and I think you make that like that. Vanilla Minecraft skills. I don't have them. <laughs> okay, just like that. We put the XP drain. Perfect. We can put the rest of this back. Uh, and then we're going to take some of these. Make our glass panes. Just like that. Uh, and then I believe it's... Not quite like that, but close. Uh, and just four pieces of obsidian there. Perfect. Okay, so now, where do we want to put this? Um, you know what? I might just stick this kind of on the ground here. And I think if I just place the drain right on top here, just like that, I'll be able to... Perfect. Looks like it's filling up pretty quick, though. Okay. Wow, that was pretty uh, close to what I needed. <laughs> so that's not so bad. Um, okay. So let's put that away. We're going to need... Oh, a little bit more of that. Uh, we've got some food. We don't really need the dirt. Let's grab a bit more cobble. We're going to want to build... So we're going to want a little bit more cobble, I believe. I can put this away here. Um, let's just head upstairs for a quick second. Uh, let's grab some more cobble. I think I have some in here. Uh, let's grab another stack. And then we're going to make this down kind of in our mine shaft down at the uh, near bedrock level. Uh, just because I don't like the... Oh, I forgot one thing. I do need a way to light the portal. So I'm going to need a flint and steel. So that's not flint. That is. Uh, we're going to grab one of you and the flint and steel. Perfect. Uh, let's get a couple things of blocks ready, uh, just in case we're in a bad spot and we need to build really, really quickly. Uh, generally, you do want to build your um, build your your little entry base uh, in the Nether as quickly as you can. Um, so it's a good idea. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to need three more pieces. Or I could always build it kind of right there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So that'll cut down on one piece that I'm not going to have to 
make one piece of obsidian I'm not gonna have to uh, get and it'll get me a little bit of lorium nice okay so we're gonna build that's gonna be the bottom we're gonna need one extra piece just like that uh, and then we can go ahead and let's put these blocks right here so it's going to be one two three one two three and then two on top that looks good I think we're ready to go. Maybe let's just dump. Uh, not that. You all pick back up. Um, but I will. You can go here. Um, you and you, I'm not gonna need actually. You, uh, I don't really. Neither do you. Okay. So let's put these two things away, and we're ready. We're ready to go. Let's head into the Nether. Light this up. We have our portal, we have a bow, we have some arrows, not very many, but that should be alright. So let's see what the nether looks like for us. Oh boy, so we're kind of in the open, and there appears to be somebody right by us. What kind of another another sulfur ore? Oh, jeez! Okay, it didn't. <laughs> okay, so we're a little bit lucky. It didn't um, blow our portal, but we're going to want. I think I got him. Nope. Turn to sender. Okay, there we go. Now we got him. Uh, good thing though, there appears to be lots of ores around, but first things first, let's protect our portal. This is crucial. That's a big spider. Look at that thing. You know what I might want to do? Fight him. Kind of aggro him and then duck into like a little cave here. Let's do that right here. I don't know where he is. <laughs> That's okay. 
we're we're done with the nether that's it all done goodbye see you guys later all right so we've done our nether excursion we have some quartz we have a bunch of stuff well, actually we're going to need some obsidian so let me just mine that off camera here okay so I've got a little bit of obsidian. I don't think it's going to be enough, but we'll uh, start some of the crafting, uh, kind of get an idea of how much we need, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Let's just head back up. It'll be nice to have a, like a transport system up and down here. I just need some more ender pearls. So for now, this will do. Um, okay. So first off, let me just dump in there uh, and let's take a quick look at our query our ender query okay so we're going to need some ender pearls which we don't have enough of right now I believe we have an extra four to go uh, and then we also have some ender infused obsidian which are going to need some more ender pearls so one of these will make four ender infer infused obsidian. Uh, if we look here, we, we, need, we have a couple that we need for this. For each of these ender cores, we're gonna need two, four. So we're gonna need one eye of ender and one ender pearl for each one of these ender cores. So that's four right there, in those two blocks. Uh, we're going to need one more ender infused obsidian here, as well as some burnt burnt quartz so you know what let's go ahead and make the burnt quartz um, we're going to need I think it's eight blocks and I'll just do this and then one two three four five six seven eight just like that uh, and bring that all back and let's dump that all in here um, and let that cook up into the burnt quartz I think that's how you do that. Let me just double check. Yes, perfect. So we're going to get burnt quartz, which we need for this block here. So we need four burnt quartz. So actually, we didn't need that many. Um, I might want to. Yeah, I might want to save those because I think you can convert that back. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Um, but anyways, we'll save that for now. Uh, and then in here, we're going to need some Ender Infused Obsidian again. Uh, and uh, as well as another Eye of Ender. So we're going to need another two for these. So we're going to need some more uh, stuff. And we're also going to need some enchanted books for this part. So you know what? Let's start looking into our enchantment options. There is a cool mechanic in Batania that I'd love to try, but I don't think I'm ready to get into that level of Batania. Anyways, I'd probably be starting with kind of the basics of Batania. So for now, uh, I'm going to look at Enchanters. Oops. Enchant. Should be good. There is the Auto Enchanter auto enchanter here and the auto disenchanter um, I might just do that this is just a regular old enchantment table um, and then this is a machine frame some plastic sheets a little bit of obsidian this is doable actually So we need a bit of tin. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go for this route here. Okay, so first we're going to need some raw plastic. And you get that from smelting rubber bars. Uh, and you get rubber bars from smelting raw rubber. So we're going to need some of that rubber. Luckily, I was out in the world, and I was able to snag a bit of that. 
before, and I think they'd ended up in here for now. So let's grab a bunch of this. Uh, we're going to smelt up a bunch of this. Um, so for those plastic sheets, we need four pieces of raw rubber, and the rest, um, we only need we don't need that much actually, we only need two of those, so four pieces will do. So let's get that smelted up. Um, I can put that in here. We've got those. So let's go ahead and put one, two, three, four pieces of raw rubber in here. That'll start smelting. Uh, and then what else are we going to need? We're going to need some uh, tin. We're going to need some leather and some obsidian, as well as some gold and redstone. I believe the gold and redstone are all down here. I don't think we have any diamonds. Oh, we do have diamonds down here. Um, okay, we have that there. But we're going to need some of the leather. So let me just grab some of that. Actually, this is probably almost done. So let's put that back in there, and then I'll get the plastic that we're going to need. Come up here. Make for some leather. Oh jeez, I really need to get this sorted out. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, in the meantime, I can dump you in there. Uh, that'll be good enough for now. Okay. So let's go back here. Um, and this should be close to being done. So let's get this set up. Just like that. Okay. Now we can make our plastic sheets. So we're all ready for that. Uh, we're going to need some books. So we're going to need some paper. Uh, and luckily I have some sugar cane right here. So I've actually got more sugar cane if I need it. Um, I am going to need it actually. Uh, so there's some sugar cane upstairs. Now let's grab one book, just like that. Head back upstairs. Okay, where did the sugar cane go? It must be over here somewhere. There it is. Did I have more than that. I must have had more than that. Guess not. I was certain I had more, but maybe not. Okay. I think that'll be enough, though. So that'll make one more book. Just like that. Okay, let's go back to our recipe. We're going to need two books, a machine frame, uh, and a redstone reception coil. The redstone reception coil is pretty quick and easy. It's just one of these. Uh, not that. It's a couple bits of redstone. Uh, and that we can put away like that. That is good. We're going to need some tin. Four pieces of tin. Uh, I think I got some smelted up right there. Just like that. Uh, and that will just be like so. Well, that's kind of interesting. What is that, actually? Can. Huh, interesting. Tin can. I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, so here we need the tin gear. Uh, and then we're going to make the machine frame with this. So that's just a bit of glass, iron, and the tin gear. Like so. Now, do we have everything else? I think we have everything else. Let's see if we can... Oh, not quite. Uh, I think it's pretty much ready to go, though. What else did I need here? Auto Enchanter. I needed one piece of obsidian, plastic sheets, the books, and the diamonds. Diamonds went on the bottom. The books went in the middle. One piece of obsidian and two plastic sheets. And we have our Auto Enchanter. Awesome. Okay, let's see if we can set this down somewhere. 
So this is configured. How are you configured right now? You're not accepting anything except power in the back. Okay, good enough. We're going to just stick you on top here. So he's got energy. Uh, and all we need to do is stick something to enchant in it, I believe. But we need another piece of book. Uh, so you know what, I'm just going to grab you. Let's just enchant a book. Um, so let's see what we can get. Okay, so we got one book. Uh, let's see if we can't do that. If I do this. But if I break it with that, it will hold the XP. Perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and place that down. Right over here. Hmm. Am I going to need to pump this in? Maybe. maybe. I might need to pump this in. In which case I'm going to need um, some kind of a fluid duct. Fluid conduit. So I have some there. I think I had some lying around right here. Perfect. Um, sometimes when you plan things they go really well. <laughs> and other times not at all. Uh, let's see. Where's the best spot to do this? Let's try that. Oh, you're going to need some mob absence. Okay, you know what? This is not going to work then. Okay, so we're going to need a system to get some mob essence. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to come back to this next time. I'm going to need to pump some mob essence into here. Uh, and then it will be able to start enchanting stuff. Yeah, okay. So that's what I'm going to have to do with that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to figure out how to do that, how to get the mob essence into there. And uh, we'll be back next time. And I'll show you guys my setup of how I've decided to do this. Uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to start setting up my query. Uh, and I'll also try to work on the slice and splice machine and getting some uh, of my sorting stuff kind of, well, sorted out. <laughs> so um, that's one of those priorities that uh, I haven't quite gotten around to yet. Uh, I need to get this all sorted out so that I can actually have sorting happening here uh, instead of me just trying to randomly look and stuff. So for now... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Okay.